When I say Santa Claus, what image comes to mind? For most of us, it's something along the lines of this. A big bearded guy wearing red. But, as some of you may know, Santa Claus wasn't always red. And today we're going to talk about how that changed and what kind of psychological principles are at play here in order to make that such an established image in our minds. So, Santa Claus wasn't always red. In fact, before 1930, the most common colorway for Santa Claus was actually green, just like the elves who work in his workshop, which is how we still depict them today. But as some of you will know, in the 1930s, there was a famous ad campaign by Coca-Cola who decided to make Santa Claus red in accordance with their brand colors. It was this very successful ad campaign that seemed to cement the idea of a red Santa Claus in the minds of most people. But how does this kind of cementing process work from a psychological point of view? How does one brand change the color of an iconic character like Santa Claus? Well, I think it's a great example of a principle in behavioral science known as the mere exposure effect. So the mere exposure effect is this idea in behavioral science that the more we're exposed to a stimulus, the more we actually like it. This was shown in a famous experiment by a guy called Sajonic, where he showed participants a bunch of different symbols. And what he asked participants to do was rate how much they liked the symbols. But what they didn't know was that some symbols were shown more often than others. And that's what Sajonic was testing for. He wanted to know if just showing people the same symbol more often earlier in the experiment would make them rate how much they liked them even more. And that's exactly what he found. Just by manipulating the number of times that a participant saw a certain symbol, that increased how much they liked it. The reason why this happens psychologically is probably due to something called processing fluency, which is the idea that the more easily we can process a certain piece of information or a certain stimulus, the more we actually like it, or the more we think that we like it. This relates to another famous finding in psychology that says that people actually prefer their mirror image as opposed to their real image, or in other words, how other people actually see them in real life. For example, look at this picture of Abraham Lincoln. This looks quite normal to you, but the version of Abraham Lincoln that he likely preferred himself probably looked something like this. That's because Abraham Lincoln would be used to seeing himself in the mirror in this orientation, the reverse. And so seeing himself in the photographed orientation would probably be quite unsettling for him. That's the mere exposure effect at work. Because we're used to seeing ourselves in reverse, that's the version that we prefer. So how does this relate to Coca-Cola and Santa being red? Well, simply, that's the power of mass marketing. By simply seeing the image of red Santa in all of Coca-Cola's branded advertising so often, we ended up being merely exposed to that same idea. In other words, we get so familiar with the red Santa that when we see anything other than the red Santa, it looks weird, just like the reverse image of ourselves in the mirror. That's why mass marketing is powerful, it can completely shape people's perception, and the mere exposure effect is a big reason for that happening. So that's how Coca-Cola made Santa Claus red. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, make sure you subscribe because we got more days of Nudgebus coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.